Hey, good afternoon, everybody. This is Bob KK4DIV. I wanted to take a quick moment and share with you uh, breaking news in my world. It might not be breaking news for everyone else, but I did want to bring something to the attention of the YouTube community. It may already be common knowledge. It may not be, but like I said, it was news to me. Recently, I was just browsing around the internet, kind of looking for a the ICOM ID 51. I know the there's the 51, and I think the 51A, the A plus, and now the A plus two is the latest model. But I wasn't serious about buying one. I was just going out and looking and seeing what was out there and what was available. Uh, to my surprise, when I went to uh, started with Gigaparts, went to the Gigaparts website and said it was discontinued by the manufacturer. Did a little bit further digging and I went to Ham Radio Outlet and same thing. Uh, looked like it was discontinued. Uh, tried a couple other outlets and even went to Amazon where, you know, I would probably pay a little bit more for the radio from Amazon. But uh, it was also not available and I was quite perplexed. I went to the ICOM website, and they're still showing the ID51 Plus 2. I'm looking at it right here. Uh, still showing it as a handheld that is available. So I reached out to ICOM. Uh, can contact them through their website, and this is the response I got. I, I, I wrote them, and I said I was looking into the ID51 A Plus 2, and noticed that the online retailers I checked show that this HT is discontinued. I'm active in my local areas group and we use ICOM D-Star radios. I was looking into this unit for our deployments and training. Uh, I'm also an active YouTube creator and I'm curious about whether this is going to be replaced. Seems like a pretty big void was being left if a replacement is not on its way and any information is appreciated. Uh, within 24 hours I got this uh, email back. And it says, good morning. Unfortunately, the handheld D-Star radios are currently discontinued, including the ID-51A Plus 2. We have not received any information on if there will be replacements. As of now, there are no plans to release an alternate or newer version. I apologize for the inconvenience this may have caused. We appreciate your business and continued loyalty to our products. Have a wonderful day. Stay safe and healthy. Well, I'm not really loyal to loyal to icon products i was just interested in the id 51 a plus two simply for aries so i'm still quite perplexed why they would discontinue the d star radios is is d star dead so you know that you know you start wondering things like that um I'm just reporting it as I see it, folks. So, uh, the ID51A Plus 2, and I believe it's the ID31. I guess they're both discontinued. Uh, the 31 still, I could still find that in places, but I wanted the 51. I wanted the dual band capabilities. So, what are we going to do? What options do we have? Uh, we have the Kenwood, the THD74. That is a fantastic looking radio, but it's more than I needed. Uh, it has APERS capabilities, it has D-Star capabilities, and if I had an extra $500 laying around, I would certainly be interested in getting that radio. Um, I'm a big fan of APERS, and to have APERS and D-Star all-in-one radio is a fantastic uh, proposition. But I just don't have $500 in the budget right now. Uh, I did, you know... $300, $350, whatever the ID51A Plus 2 was running uh, would certainly be a lot more in line with what I would be willing to spend. But unfortunately, that is not going to be possible. So, ICOM, I'm confused. Why are you discontinuing the uh, handheld D-Star radios? 
certainly there is a demand for them, especially in the Aries community, uh, where I know Aries groups around here and in Florida uh, use uh, D-Star as a communication protocol. Um, I'm just very confused as to why a, a company would discontinue such a popular radio without uh, without having a replacement uh, in the works. So that's all I have, folks. I just wanted to um, get on here and talk about that and uh, kind of share my findings with you. Uh, like I said, there may be folks out there, and this may be common knowledge, and I'm the last one to find out this stuff. Uh, a lot of times I'm the last one to find out things, but uh, I I did speak with uh, another local ham here, and he was kind of surprised that the uh, ID51A Plus 2 was discontinued as well. So anyway, uh, if you're out there and if you've uh, got an ID51A, I think you have a a good little radio and uh, hold on to it because uh, if you're looking for something that's going to be replacing it it doesn't look like anything's coming from icom anytime in the near future uh, if you are looking for an id 51a plus two kind of like i was uh, good luck um, i haven't found any i found some on uh, ebay used and maybe that might be what i end up doing uh, certainly there may be some local hams as well that may be willing to part with one of their radios if they have a couple of them but uh, it's just a little bit uh, a little bit surprising and I'm a little bit shocked that uh, this radio like I said is discontinued without a replacement in sight so that's all I've got folks thanks for tuning in thanks for watching remember to give this video a thumbs up if you like what I see and uh, subscribe to my channel if you uh, find my videos of interest uh, we'll say 73 at this time. And until next time, this is Bob KK4DIV. Bye-bye.